Alright guys, so I'm here and we're going to cover just a quick, simple, and very easy way to do menus. Um, there's a lot more fancy ways we'll do, but I just wanted to get the basics working, so we'll cover that quickly. Um, and this is my method, I'm not sure if anyone else uses this method, I've kind of um, grabbed it, the idea from a few other people, but uh, I don't think anyone uses this exact method, I don't know, but maybe everyone does for all I know. Um, first things first, um, create a new scene and I named it start menu, start underscore menu and um, I just added a plane and uh, then after that I actually have a texture on that plane you'll see it when I go into play mode uh, you just unwrap it and add an image texture just to test because I was going to have something with an image on it and I just created another plane here and do, and you know some uh, text here and then parented the text to the background and then just duplicated that. And I don't, you don't really have to parent it, um, but it just seemed easier to move it all around if it was parented. So then I just uh, have all the letters on it. The letters, um, the words don't have any logic bricks. Um, everything's really done in these background. Um, so let's cover that. We're going to add another um, little thing here because I wanted to separate this out because this was controls. This is just a text object, you just shift A add text, then tab it into edit mode to change it. And then not setting, settings. And then bam, that's your thing. And then you can name it so it uh, makes sense and give it a material and all that. And uh, I have to stop naming things uh, like uh, menu dot text and all that sort of thing. I really just need to start naming it um, with uh, camel case. Uh, which is essentially we we would do. Um, let me see. How did I have that set up for? Uh, I think I just did settings dot text is how I would do it before. But now just take out the dot and do settings text because if you're doing anything in Python, it likes to use dots in there and it can get confusing. I decided it's not a good thing to do so. So that's uh, that's definitely something. All right. So what we have here is I just duplicated this and controls because controls is what it's going to go to this. So let's take a look at this uh, logic block here. So logic block set it for this background. So what we have here is let me get this full screen. I have just three here: mouse click, mouse on, and mouse off. Very simple. Mouse off is just an invert of the mouse on block, and it's just the mouse over mouse event. Um, and then, so what happens if I, let's start with the mouse off. If I mouse off something, like, and mouse off just means I move the mouse off of that background plane that we saw before. If I move it out of, it's going, off of, it's going to make it visible. So when I hit play, let's go ahead and go to this camera here and show you what it does. When you hit play, um, there's my background. And then when you mouse over something, it's going to take that, background that the logic bricks are on just make it disappear. I thought that would be the simplest, easiest thing to do. And you can do a lot of things. You can animate. I actually tried animating it like scaling bigger and smaller for some reason. That killed my frame rate. I'm not sure why. But I decided this was probably the easiest thing to do. So I just had the visibility turn off when I'm, you know, moused over it. So how that accomplishes it accomplishes it is fairly simple. Oh, it's different. Oh yeah, single player. So not what I wanted to do. Let's go back to this. This is just my settings again. So uh, we turn, maybe we make it visible. When we mouse off, that red background comes back. Now when we mouse over it, this is going to turn the visibility off. So it's going to hide that background. And when we mouse click tap, um, since I don't want to like multiple times clicking on it, um, and we're moused over. So that's how we know the mouse click is on that exact um, that exact object is because we're moused over it and we click the left mouse button. When those are together, we're going to go to scene. And then now this is um, this is the part I came up with on my own that I know of. Um, I'm going to set the camera. What that does is if we go back here, I have. Oops, sorry, I was out of that. As you can see, multiple cameras here. So all that does when I click the 
and this should still work, even though I've been changing things. If I click the settings, it's gonna yep, it's gonna go back and switch that. Just switch the camera. So now I'm in my settings here, um, and then you know that just switches the camera back and forth. <sighs> Fairly simple. Um, I've seen it before where uh, they replace like the letters, all of the letters on there, or uh, where it has it behind and it like hides the whole thing. I haven't seen it this way before. Maybe it's very common. Who knows? I'll keep repeating myself because I'm pretty proud of it. So, <laughs> all right. So that's fairly simple for this one. Set camera that just changes. But let's say we wanted to start the game. So, and our game is in a different scene. It's in gameplay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back into our main thing here. So I don't just sit there. And our single player block. Let's look at that. This is. Um, uh, the first thing we need to do. Oh. That's right. Control zero, by the way, sets so the active camera. So if you want to look at, say, this one, you have to select that camera and hit control zero, and that sets it to the active camera. Otherwise, you'll just go back to your other active camera. Um, the first thing you need to do is uh, your mouse will not show. Your mouse, uh, it'll just be blank. And it'll still work, but it's nice if people can see where their mouse is. So on the camera, I have an always sensor to menu function dot mouse show and that just shows the mouse and it's on all my cameras I don't know if it has to be but uh, I added anyway um, and it just uh, the menu function mouse show let me show you that that's very simple and I'm doing module um, <coughs> execution and I'll show you what I have here um, oh let me there we go from BGE import logic as game logic and again you don't you don't have to do that but and we're not going to do that in fact this should still work we'll make sure it does and do logic dot get current controller import rasterizer um, I don't even know if I need that per se if I had more menu functions I probably will but and then we have defined mouse hide is rasterizer dot show mouse zero, which means we hide the mouse, and mouse show, which is show mouse one, which means we show the mouse. And so when we're calling the module, it's menu function dot mouse show. Fairly simple. All right, so let's take a look at our single player block again, and bump that up. All right. So again, we have uh, our mouse click and our mouse on and those are tied together into our first and block which goes into and this is uh there's other ways to do it but i did the property of hide mouse because if we start the net if we go to the next scene and we don't hide our mouse again it's going to show the mouse which you don't want and then once that property this is a property sensor so once that changes to one then we're going to go ahead and kick off these two things one is Many function dot mouse side which hides the mouse and then we're going to change our scene we're going to set our scene to gameplay which is our play scene and then we're going to remove the scene start menu so that that's not there um, and one thing you want to make very very sure of these scenes all have different settings for our um, shading so what you'll need to do if you're in multi texture and you switch to a GLSL um, shading scene it will look crazy it will not look right would be like inverted colors so you want to make sure to that all of your scenes have the same shading setup all right so let's go back to this so the property is what kicks off pretty much everything in it um, then we have the same exact mouse off visibility or mouse on visibility and mouse off visibility that's very very simple um, other than that uh, the basics are all done. So when we go to our settings, this right now doesn't work. I, I got to see if there's an easy way in Python to allow them to change the the buttons. Um, but uh, everything works like you would expect. The page down just switches the camera, and then the page up switches it back up, and then the done switches it back to the main menu. So all very simple stuff. Um, these are just regular text objects um, and with the material settings and then these again are regular text and when 
what I plan on having is having all the other text options just copied up off the camera and when they do set a new button it's gonna go ahead and set the corresponding uh, thing in there so we'll have to see uh, how that works but so let's quickly just go ahead and throw one together for examples of if any of you need them so we're gonna go ahead and duplicate that camera we're gonna call this uh, cam menu um, settings alright and then now we're going to change this so that it goes to a different camera which is going to be a b cam menu settings and that means it's going to switch to this boy, this camera right there and let's go ahead and move this camera just twinge alright that looks pretty good there well, oops, we'll scale this out just a twinge so it looks better alright so now we have controls which is going to go to the cam menu options page one which is just what we wanted so um, what else we can add like a display uh, so all we have to do is do shift D and then Y and then move that up and then if we want to have display let's say we'll put display up here so we'll do shift we'll select the camera background bam and bam and the controls just so we have them all there shift D and then along the Y and then along the X and let's just throw it up there and we'll name this camera cam menu display and then we'll oh, shift D Y this and then delete the parent ah, boy G Y no G X on there and G Y And these will look a little different when you hit the play button, like they'll be a little bit larger or you know something like that. It won't look exactly the same. Um, it'll take up more space usually, just a little bit more space. <clears throat> we'll tab into edit mode for that, and then we'll call this settings, tab out of edit mode, and then we'll go to start typing cam menu display. There we are. And so again, when you hit play, if we hit settings, hold on, why did I call that settings? Display. All right, display. And cam menu display is going to bring us to this one right here. We're going to call this one how about resolution all right let's go to that one hit play go to settings go to display and then there's res resolution right there so all right um, and from here we would uh, probably add like a back um, command as well and I'm not sure what else we would have in that settings menu but that's very, the very simple way to get a menu system up and running in Blender